for the union must define the true depths of your souls. With such agitation and such divine passion that ignites and plunges into heat inflamed and melting for this moment of raging rectifies the craving that love begets so long have you desired to feel the fire of each other Thank you for stopping by and visiting my channel today. Now don't you forget to hit that like button, okay? Hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, Cancer, and hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos. I am Goddess Hatet Horartet and this is the actual facts tarot. And what we are doing today is your twin soul, twin flame, twin raye, love reading, Cancer. We got the whole thing spread out, so let's dive on in, okay? Now, Cancer, so this person that you're dealing with who claim to be your twin flame, first of all, has the four of swords. Not the four of wands, baby, but the four of swords, baby, okay? That's somebody who retreated from you. That's somebody who retreated from you who went ahead, went ahead with the uh with the uh the knight of uh chalices went ahead and offered their love up to somebody else baby they went ahead and offered intimacy and love and affection on to somebody else and retreated away from you leaving you standing there as anubu the god of death with your heart in your hand okay what what cancer Okay, now the second column, we got the king of wands. We got the six of, of wands and we have the, the hangman position. So, okay, they ran off and offered their love to somebody else who was the king of wands or the queen of wands. Okay, now this person who they offered their love to was very, uh, you know, uh, popular, popular with the ladies, popular with the fellas. Okay, the king of wands knows how to utilize the wand. The queen of wands is uh, knowing how to be the, the female ruler of the wand. You understand what I'm saying, Cancer? Okay, now here we got the, the, uh, the six of wands. They wanted victory and to be successful with this person. However, things were just up in the air with this other person, right? They, or, or they sacrificed they sacrificed a lot to have some type of uh, victory over this other person who was very popular, who they wanted to have to themselves, okay? But the third column has the uh, Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the uh, Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay, Cancer. So, it was a bitter struggle that this person went ahead and charged away from you towards the, into the arms of, of somebody else. Somebody who was the daggone uh, knight of, of uh, wands. In and out energy. Somebody who was the king of wands, the queen of wands. In and out energy. They had a lot of people who were interested in them. They had a lot of people who wanted them. So therefore, uh, they went ahead and rushed towards one. Okay, so because we have three, three knights out here. Three of the knights, okay? The knight of chalices, the knight of swords, the knight of wands. Okay? So, yeah, somebody took their love, rushed with their love into the arms of somebody who was in and out of their life, who wasn't even real, who was a player, okay? And played them. And it was a bitter struggle. And that's the truth of the matter, Cancer. Okay? That's the truth of the matter. This person want to just offer up their chalice to another person, leaving you standing there with your heart in your hand, your broken heart. They want to retreat from you. Okay? But they had to, they sacrificed their own happiness when they did that because this person wasn't even somebody stable in their life. 
It wasn't even somebody stable in their life. They had many people who, who, who they was just stepping over. Many people who were just wanting them, right? <laughs> okay, Cancer. Is that right? All right. Okay. The truth of the matter is this person is not happy, Cancer. They left you. Okay, they left you. You're the one standing here with your heart in your hand. And they went this way, away from you, okay? Mm. And by going this way, they sacrificed their own happiness. They sacrificed their own victory. They sacrificed their own self by doing that. Okay, that's what happened, Cancer. That's what happened, okay? Dang, man. Okay, so I got these cards out for you. Okay, I shuffle like about... A uh, hundred times when I pulled these cards for you. The first one, we got love, okay? They retreated from somebody who loved them. Who showed them affection. Who showed them respect. Who showed them the thing that they have been wanting their whole life. Their whole existence depended on somebody who loved them. And they thought to leave you broken hearted. You know what I'm saying? In the relationship, feeling like you didn't even want to, you know, go on. Because you had your heart in your hand. They and left you, but they left love when they did that. Here we go. Boom. The phoenix rising from the ashes. Now they want to rekindle. Now they want to have victory with you. They want to come in all passionately with you. You know what I'm saying? They want to sacrifice. They want to sacrifice uh, their player ways. Okay? They want to sacrifice that and rekindle. Okay? Rekindle. Mm-mm-mm. Here we got the daggone heart with the key. Heart with the key is welcome and new love. <laughs> welcome and new love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. But cancer. You unmet the one. <laughs> Check you out. Okay, cancer. So you want you unmet the one. Man, now you got some unconditional love. Because that's what you gave here. You gave unconditional love. All right, you gave passion, affection. You were attracted to this this sword energy. This somebody who don't have no type of emotion. Somebody who don't have no type of uh, con concern, detached. Don't even want to deal with you. Want to go out there and utilize their passion, their love for somebody else. That was a bitter struggle for them to do that. A bitter struggle when they chased, when they chased after this uh, 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 player right here. <laughs> well, that's okay, Aqua. I mean, uh, I said aqua because I did aqua first. Okay, now it could be an Aquarius because this air some some daggone uh, air energy. Okay, so it could be aqua that went ahead and did that to you. Dang, aqua, <laughs> that ain't cool, baby. That ain't cool. All right, but you got the one. You got the one. If aqua is is uh, cross watching here, aqua, you know you wasn't supposed to do that. I mean, you have all this sword energy out here. You got three swords out here three three sword cards out here okay so it's like aqua if that was you man <laughs> you know you ain't right okay anyway <sighs> i'm not going i'm not going to bully or or chastise my aquas because we don't normally do something like this if this was an aquarius or any other air energy that you was dealing with a um gemini a libra you know if that's something that you were dealing with but i don't like calling out the the uh the signs much I did that in my last reading I don't want to do that this reading okay now here's the crystal spirits Oracle all right shuffled at least 100 times and this is what I got cancer this is what I got cancer okay boom rose quartz baby number 48 I've got to turn to 48 okay now let's see 48 let's get the advice for the cancer somebody gonna do this to the cancer how they gonna do this to the man? So, essential meaning, self love, self worth, being enough, worthiness. Oh, oh, ah. When okay, where's the relationship part? We are conditioned to forget how amazing we are. So when Rose Court Spirit shows up, it's because now is a time for being aware of how quickly we forget our beauty and worth. Have you been uh, falling? I mean, 
this is falling yeah have you been falling into a comparison trap and convincing yourself that you aren't good enough and that you have to work hard to deserve what you want for yourself cancer no 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 let go of that scarcity mentality okay complete Oh, excuse me, comparing yourself to someone else should be done only when you want to identify those uh, marching inner strengths of yours that you wish to amplify so that you may experience uh, even more love and prosperity. Okay. Today is a good day to connect with what you see and love in others and feel the presence of those attributes within yourself. Remind yourself of the times when you have been strong, smart, playful, confident, whatever the quality it is within you. Know that you have all you need and you will see your relationship reflecting that you are worthy of what you deserve. You are worthy of what you deserve. You, Your heart and your hand here, Cancer, is for the one that has the key to that, okay? It's for the one that has the key to that heart. And that person that got a key to that heart, okay, is the one that will take that heart, treasure that heart, care for that heart, never leave you standing there feeling like you don't want to go off to, 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 to uh, live or go on to even do anything or go into some type of depression. The person who has the key to your heart will never leave you, will never run away from you, will never go into a bitter struggle with a player energy because they know what they got. They know what they got. Okay, now uh, I got a little, a little emotional there because he's like, I'm feeling the energy, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this to an end, Cancer. You are meeting the one. If you haven't met the one, you are going to meet the one. And this is a perfect match for you. He or she will never leave you. This is an unconditional love. But then first, you have to unconditionally love yourself to get this type of match. You want somebody to, to take your heart and unconditionally love it, but you have to ha offer them a heart that is already unconditionally loved, okay? By you, baby, by you. Okay, Cancer. Don't forget to, like I said, like, share, and subscribe to my page. I hit the bell notified to know, to know and I will be uploading more of these, okay? Now I got to go, Cancer. Uh, you know I love you. I ain't got nothing but love for the Cancerians. Peace, love, and light. Bye-bye, baby.